Hi everyone. Let us discuss this concept absolute convergence. Okay. So let me write a definition here. A series summation n. Okay. Obviously n running from 1 to infinity is said to be absolutely convergent. Absolutely convergent if summation n running from 1 to infinity mod n is convergent. Okay, so that means if you have a series summation n, if you apply mod to each term and again you take the summation, if that series is convergent, then we say the given series summation n is also absolutely convergent. Let us discuss one example. Okay, so I am considering a series summation n running from 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to n plus 1 upon 5 raised to n. So this series we have and we have to check whether the, this series is absolutely convergent or not. So uh, for that I have to apply mod to this. So let me write consider I am applying mod to that term. So n running from 1 to infinity mod minus 1 raised to n plus 1 upon 5 raised to n which is equal to summation n running from 1 to infinity. So you know that when you have this such type of ratio, we can take separate mod for numerator, separate mod for denominator. See, if you talk about numerator minus 1 raised to n plus 1, that means its value will be either plus 1 or minus 1. But if you take a mod, definitely its value will be 1. When you talk about denominator, 5 raised to n is always positive real number. So that's why uh, I should write as it is. So 5 raised to n. So after applying mod, we got this type of series. Let us expand it so we'll get an idea. Let me put n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, 5 square that means 25, n is equal to 3, 5 cube that is 125 plus and so on. So you can easily see this is a geometric series. Since if you multiply first term by 1 by 5, we get a second term. When you multiply second term by 1 by 5, you get a next number getting. So in this way, if you multiply any uh, number by 1 by 5, you get a next number of that series. So that's why we say this is a geometric series with common ratio 1 by 5. So let me mention this is geometric series with common ratio r is 1 by 5. We have already proved one result when you have geometric series with common ratio less than r then that geometric series is convergent. So therefore the, we have a geometric series with common ratio less than 1. So that's why we can say this is a convergent series. So therefore, let me mention so summation n running from 1 to infinity. We are talking about this series minus 1 raised to n plus 1 upon 5 raised to n is convergent series. That means this was uh, our given series. We applied mod to each term and we got a series. That series is convergent. Therefore, we can say this is absolutely convergent series. Let me mention the con uh, conclusion here. So therefore summation n running from 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to n plus 1 upon 5 raised to n is absolutely convergent series. Absolutely convergent series. Getting? Yes. So in this way uh, we discuss example. Okay. One more concept we will discuss. Make a screenshot of it then we will go further. See now I have written here definition of conditionally convergent series. Let us see when we say the given series is conditionally convergent. Okay. So that means if the given series is convergent, but when you take mod of n, then it is not convergent. It means series is convergent, but it is not absolutely convergent. Then we say the given series is conditionally convergent. I will repeat when the given series is convergent, but it is not absolutely convergent. Then we say the given series is conditionally convergent. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.